Yo, what is up guys? Oscar here with a new video, and this is going to be discussing my Real Madrid versus Chelsea second leg of the quarterfinals match preview, game analysis, predictions, all that good stuff. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, So we got the squad here. I'm going to run down the squad. Goalkeepers, Courtois, Lunin, Fuidas, Defenders, Carvajal, Alaba, Nacho, Marcelo, Ferdinandi, and... Rafa, Marin, midfielders, Cross, Modric, Casemiro, Valverde, Lucas Vasquez, Dani Ceballos, and Camavinga. Forwards, Benzema, Asensio, Jovic, Bale, Vinicius Junior, Rodrigo, and Mariano. So, if you notice there by the absence of Eder Militao, he is serving his one-game suspension after he accumulated his five yellow cards in five games. So, Obviously, he could not contain himself last Tuesday or last Wednesday, so um, he is suspended. So, the way I see this going, I basically see the same formation. I mean, it worked against Chelsea last game, but Chelsea, it's going to be a different game. Uh, if you expect Real Madrid to come in again and beat Chelsea 3-1 to again, I don't think it's going to happen. I think Chelsea, they know what's at stake. So, I do honestly think that Chelsea's going to come in with a better game plan than what they did. They're not going to have the same mistakes they had last week. So, the way I would line up would be, obviously, Courtois in goal. Defenders, Carvajal, Alaba, Nacho, and Mendy. Midfielders, Cross, Modric, Casemiro, Valverde. And then forwards are going to be... Karim Benzema and Vinicius Jr. up front. The 4-4-2 formation. I would not go back to a 4-4-4-3-3 uh, for this game. You gotta do the you gotta put pressure on these Chelsea players. Like I said, the method worked last week. We'll have to wait and see what happens. You know, most of it was due to Chelsea mistakes. Granted, I think Chelsea is gonna learn from those mistakes and not commit those same mistakes this week but if you have success doing something try it again see how it goes this upcoming game um Real Madrid they win this one they they will basically have to sit and watch uh on Wednesday and see if either Manchester City or Atletico Madrid win it um but like I said uh this is gonna be an interesting game um let me see if I can find here some quotes here give me one second y'all uh, no it's not allowing me to pull up the quotes but anyways um let's i mean i don't know chelsea they're gonna play like they're mad I I honestly think I have an inkling feeling that this game I'm not saying that Real Madrid is gonna pull a PSG, but Real Madrid this past weekend did not I mean they won two to zero, yeah. But it wasn't convincing to me. They've not had Real Madrid has been so up and down this season. That you're like one one game they 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 can smash their opponents the next game they barely win the next game they can and of course th them coming off of the huge loss to Barcelona they come in they play a lower ranked team they barely beat them then they come in and just annihilate Chelsea last week and then they come again this week and they barely come away with two goals. This, this past week. So, this game, I feel like Chelsea, if they get the right game plan right and they don't commit mistakes, they could honestly upset Real Madrid in Real Madrid's own home. They really could. Uh, they have a, you know, they basically scored two goals last year in the final leg. Of um, of the game. Uh, I think it was in the in um in Valdebebas or it was in Chelsea's home. But I, 
Whew, this is going to be a hard score prediction. I honestly think that Chelsea is going to be angrier. I mean, they throttled their opponents this past week in 6-0. So, Chelsea fans still have, you know, they still show hope because Real Madrid is so up and down. So, I say Real Madrid are going to lose this game 2-1. to one. Chelsea is going to have the 2-0 lead heading into overtime. And the Real Madrid late in the second half are going to score to make it 2-1 to one to preserve their spot in the, in the semifinals. That's the way I see this going. Let me know what you all think. Write your, write your comments down below. But that is my score prediction. That is my lineup prediction. Let me know what you all thoughts are. Um, my Dwayne Haskins tribute video will be coming out here soon, guys. Uh, sorry, I just trying to get my thoughts together for that video. Trying to keep my emotions in check. But already, y'all, that'll do for this video. Let me know what your thoughts are for Real Madrid versus Chelsea. Second leg. Until then, guys, keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.